Hi everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. My project today is a mummy box. I don't know what I'm going to call him. I wanted to say Marvin the Mummy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I made him just with strips of very vanilla. And the eyes are the style of shape styes. And the smile is the moon from the scary silhouette styes. Alrighty. And it opens like this. And this sentiment is from the Scary Cute Stamp Set. And inside are four fun size Kit Kat bars. So the box's size is three and a half by two and three quarters by one inch this way. Alrighty. So I used the Scary Cute Stamp Set for the sentiment. The Stylish Shapes dies. I used the smallest circle for the eyes. And the, the moon from Scary Silhouette dies for the smile. Okay, what we need is a piece of basic black cardstock that is 9 by 8. A scrap of very vanilla for the sentiment. Now, these are two pieces of DSP for the inside, so you can pick whatever you like. This is some of the Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper. That's the host paper, but you could use anything. Um, and they are two and a half by three and a quarter. We need five strips of very vanilla that are three quarter inch by three and a quarter. I need one of the moons cut out from the scary silhouettes out of basic black and two of the smallest circles, which are seven eighth, seven eighth of an inch circles out of basic white. Okay. All right, so let me get my Simply Score. Uh, I also wanted to say they just refreshed the clearance rack and there's a lot of things in there for $3. So if you wanna take a look, um, if you're gonna spend under 150, please put my host code in and I can send everybody a little something from the Stampin' Rewards. All right, so we're gonna start on the nine inch side. This way, okay, and we're gonna score at one four and a half and five and a half then we're going to turn it to the eight inch side and we're going to score at one half three and a quarter four and a quarter and seven and all of these measurements will be on my blog that is linked below fold and burnish. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to have the 8 inch side this way to cut. The skinniest rectangle is on the left hand side and there is a 1 inch strip on the top and on the right hand side. All right. And this is what we're going to do. Okay, all right, so we're going to start on the bottom left and we're going to go to the first score line and cut it to the second score line. And then we're just going to wedge up into the rectangle that's above those two pieces. Okay, I'm going to go to the next score line cut it to the second score line. Next score line, cut it to the second score line. Okay, now we're going to get rid of this rectangle at the bottom. And we're gonna wedge each side of this square that's left here. Okay, now we're gonna go, let me fold this under, we're gonna go to the next score line and cut it to the second score line. We're gonna get rid of this piece here that's at the bottom. And we're going to get rid of these two pieces. Okay, let me 
show you the whole thing. So this was in there and I took this out. Right, and then the last thing is on this side is we're going to wedge a little out of each side of the square. Okay, now we're going to turn it to the other side. And we're going to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge both sides. Go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, next score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge both sides of the square. Okay. Then the next score line, we're going to go to the first score line and then wedge up into that rectangle above it. Okay, and this is what your cardstock should look like after you're done scoring it and cutting it. All right, now I'm going to get some tear and tape and I'm going to put it on what's left of the skinny rectangle close to the score line. I'm going to remove the backing with my take your pick tool, flip the whole thing over, flip the part with the tape, and then flip the other side to meet it. Okay, the part with the seam, that's the back of our box. So I'm going to put the sides and the back, and now I'm going to put some more tear and tape on the back of this front rectangle. Just make sure it's nice and square, push it down, and then push it down inside too to make sure. Okay, and that's the box part. Okay, now this piece that belonged right here, there was another rectangle on top of it. We're going to use this piece to make our mummy, all right? So it will fit almost exactly right on top of this flap. All right, so this one is, all right, so this piece lands up being three and a half by two and three quarters. All righty, and it's actually just a double of the flap. All right, so we definitely need our silicone mat for this. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our five strips that are three quarters by three and a quarter. Put this aside for now. And we need some crumb cake ink and a sponge. And we're going to ink the edges of all of this. All four sides. Okay, and then also we want to ink up the two circles just a little bit. I don't dip it in again. I use just what's left over. So it's just a little, just what's left over on my sponge. Okay. And now we need that piece of cardstock, the black cardstock. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, now if you can see, I left a few spots where there is black showing through. I like that. That's fine. So, and I'm just going to take my glue and I'm going to glue it all different ways. So it's going to get on your mat. This one I did the bottom straight, but I think I'm going to change that a little bit. So I'm just going to put them, I'm going to overlap them. This way.
probably won't turn out the same twice. Okay, and just make sure everything is nice and flat glued on there. Okay, and then when you pick it up, you're going to have some glue. And if you're patient, you'll wait until it's dry and pull it off. But I'm just going to try and wipe off what glue I can get wiped off. And then you're going to take your scissors. And you're going to turn it over and you're just going to trim whatever hangs over the black. Throw these out and clean off your scissors quickly. All right. Okay, so there we have the basic mummy. And now since we cut off the edges, I'm just going to go down the edges again. Decide which which way you want. I think I want it this way. Okay, and we're gonna put the eyes on kind of touching. One is just a little bit underneath the other. Just like that. And I'm just gonna glue them on. And then the other one a little bit lower and just overlap it a little bit. Oops. There we go. Okay. Then we need our moon. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and out of one side, I'm just going to cut two lines about an eighth of an inch apart and then cut out that middle piece. Oops, there we go. Okay, and it just looks like there's a tooth there, maybe. All right, and I'm just gonna glue that right over here. Okay. All right, now we need the top of our box and we're going to just glue this right onto our top flap. Now I'm just gonna lay it out like this and it will cover the flap completely. Let's pull in our other two pieces that are DSP that are two and a half by three and a quarter and we're going to put them in the inside here. This is a little bit crooked. There we go. And this part in the inside and liquid glue for those too. Okay, <clears throat> now I used a dark soft suede Stampin' Blend and I'm using the small end. I'm just going to put some dots all around. let that dry a minute and we're going to get our scrap of very vanilla and I'm going to use the sentiment Cebu and Scary On from Scary Cute Stamp Set. I'm just going to stamp it. Oh, is that far enough over? And I'm going to use the label from the Scary Cute Stamp Set. Yeah, that's fine. I'll tape that down and cut it and I'll be right back. Okay, and there you go. 
All right, and I'm also going to ink the edges of this. And we're gonna glue it. You can glue it either up here or on there. All right, and then we're gonna get some of my adhesive Velcro dots that are 3 8 inch. And I'm gonna take one and put it up here. And then the other side on top of it, adhesive up. And then just make sure that your box is nice and even when you close it. And then just rub it. See if you can get it up. Yep, and then just reinforce it. Okay, and as I said, the four Kit Kat bars will fit in nicely, so that gives you an idea of what will fit in here. All right. Okay, so now that's the close. It's nicely closed. Okay, so now we're almost done. We're gonna take some matte black dots. Now you can also use your black stamp and write marker and just draw some eyeballs on, but I'm going to use these. So I'm gonna use the largest ones. And I'm gonna put one up there and one down here. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some the some ribbon from the old olive and Sahara sand twill ribbon combo pack. I'm gonna make his little bow tie with the old olive. And I'm just gonna make a real small bow. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna get, I've been having some hard time with my ribbons coming off, so I'm really putting them on very strongly now. So I'm gonna roll two glue dots and put it on either side of the knot. And then I'm gonna take some liquid glue and put a dab of it right on the knot. gonna put it right down here okay and that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I think he's really cute I love him if you have any questions my email is below and the link to my blog with all the measurements and the link to my shop don't forget that the clearance rack has just um, refreshed it is while supplies last, but I did see some of the Halloween paper from last year and the Whimsical Trees paper from last year. So that is on there, along with a lot of other things that are um, three and six dollars. So if you're interested, take a look over there. Um, please subscribe. And don't forget, if you make a purchase under 150, put this host code in. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.